Many thanks for joining us. A Serbian farmer has turned his passion of birds into a lucrative business, breeding and training falcons and exporting them to the UAE. This falcon may seem to be enjoying the sunshine, but actually it is looking for prey. This particular bird is known for its speed along with precision when hunting. These two belong to Tibor Buza, the Serbian man who keeps around 200 of the type on his farm. I started with falconry at least 30 years ago. It all began with a couple of falcons and then we got a few more. And after that we decided to open a farm. At the moment we have around 200 falcons and that is the maximum we can manage now. We don't plan to expand anymore. Tibor is quite unique with his trading techniques. He turns them into wild birds of prey even though they live in captivity. We breed them and we teach them to fly well in certain conditions in order for them to get strong muscles and to look like wild falcons, because nowadays in not that many countries you can find wild falcons. So all the falcons we breed here should have performances like wild ones, to be strong, durable and healthy. I have met many people with whom I share the same interests, and that is falconry. In the United Arab Emirates, around 10,000 people are engaged in falconry in some way. They either hunt with falcons or train them or compete with them. Over there, I can say that falconry is a national sport. Because of that common interest, most of the birds Buza breeds here actually end up in the Emirates, which has a long tradition of falconry. The regular falcon costs around a couple of thousands of euros. The special ones go up to tens of thousands. However, the stories you hear that people pay millions for them are not true and people should not believe them. When not outside training on a grass field, the birds are kept in large indoor caged rooms, along with newly born fluffy chicks with white feathers, large brown eyes and yellow beacons.